Um, in other news, the queen had COVID. The queen. God save the queen. God save the queen. Well, apparently he didn't hear her prayers because she got COVID. Um, and they're trying to do a trace of who she got it from. I mean, who gives a shit? She's 197 years old. Let the lady just lay down in bed and relax for a while. Yeah, they're going to fire news, somebody over this. In other news, because I really don't care. Uh, Megan and Harry got the NAACP award last night, I believe. Thoughts on that? What was the award for? Like humanitarian efforts or something? Yes. Interesting. So here's the thing about these NAACP awards. The NAACP has given awards to people like Donald Sterling, the former owner of the Clippers, who literally had federal charges for racist uh, uh, housing practices. Right. You know what I mean? Like, the, like you, he said it once or twice and had some questionable housing practices and he had to sell his team. Apparently Joe Rogan can say it in 120 episodes and get offered $100 million to keep doing it. Because let's not forget the controversy around him wasn't him saying inappropriate words about Black people. The controversy around him was COVID misinformation, which led to that. Right. Again, right. racism's bad. Most people agree it's bad, but it's not a deal breaker. And, and yeah, so, so Donald Sterling had to sell his team. And, you know, he was recorded without his permission, but like he was recorded literally telling his mistress, you can't sit next to Magic Johnson because he's black. And it's like, dude, Magic Johnson is a beloved figure right. with, when it comes to basketball. So it's like, it, yeah. it's racist and you're, you're really, yeah, he's way more important in basketball than you. I get it. You're an owner. But yeah, yeah, they forced his ass out. But my thing is just- Magic is, is one of the faces of it. Yeah, it's yeah. He laundered his reputation problem. back when he had those charges against mm-hmm. him by just donating some money to the NAACP. And so so it's mm-hmm. I'm happy for Harry yeah. and Meghan, but anybody, if you donate enough money to the NAACP, can get an award from them. It seems like Megan and Harry can't win no matter what they do. I always seem to read negative comments, like no matter what they do, like they could save a woman from a burning bridge and somehow there would be a reason to be mad at them for some reason. I don't know. Like there's always negative commentary about them. Like I just saw an article that says signs that show Megan Markle's a narcissist. I was like, and they like zeroed in on her, like scratching her nose and like leaning her head or like, I'm just like, like you have time for this. Like this, what this woman can't just walk. Don't people bow before the queen, she literally has about narcissism, right? Why do I need to bow? Like, aren't you just a 93 year old old lady who kind of got the crown by accident? So it's not like a like, divine thing happened. Like literally your uncle abdicated the throne. Like, ha- that, it, like it was a fluke. You didn't come floating down, you know, from the sun, God. So that to me is more narcissistic than whatever these two are doing. What are your thoughts on them winning an award? Is the award questionable or is them winning it questionable? Oh, I don't think any of it's questionable. Yeah, this is what people do when they, if you're a famous humanitarian, people give you awards, you know? Right. And, and maybe the Correct. maybe the the heads of the NAACP wanted to take a picture with royalty, you know? Couldn't hurt. That. And their child the and Meghan and Harry's child could both run for president in the United States as well as be in line for the throne, which is sort of interesting. Is this how they get us back after the Revolutionary War? That's how they just keep getting more. (laughs) I mean, it's all Anglo-Saxon anyway, right? It's not like there was a huge departure. There was just a departure in how we're going to pay each other. This is true. (laughs) There wasn't a departure in culture. You know, there wasn't a a departure from we are the divine ones. There was just a a departure on like how much do we got to pay y'all? How much we got to pay y'all? What do we got to pay? What did you think about the, the fake report that the queen had died? From Hollywood Unlocked. I think people, if even a wrong click is a click. And I think people are more obsessed with ratings and clickbaits than they are with accuracy. I mean, I think that's something that's bleeding into true journalism. There is still a lot of good journalism out there. There, there is still a lot of good information you can get access to. I tend to read books more than get any information off social media. Social media just tells me kind of what's going on. Books tell me what truly happened. Because the books are usually written by people who not only have researched it, but have to sh- reveal who their sources are and they have to get approved by a panel. Like there's a whole process to it. And I just like to read. So it, it kind of changes the color of the conversation. 